Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hello Virgos and Virgo cross watchers. <clears throat> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as the cross watcher of the Virgo. <clears throat> this is your round of newest readings. We're going to use the past life deck first. Oh, you have spouse. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Some of you, it could be a Native American past life or for some, biblical. Spouse, this would be a person of which you have exchanged vows with in a previous life. There is a sense of in all of your most important past lives, you guys have been husband and wife, okay? or masculine, feminine, both vowing to each other, okay? However it would work. Even if it was male, male, female, female, right? It's about the energy of masculine, feminine. The Native American energy here feels as if there's a strong, I, I saw the hawk and I saw falcon, birds. There's a lot of birds connected to this Native American past life. very ritualistic, a lot of dancing, drums, uh, smoking, you know, that is a lot of smoke, sage, but also smoking different things of tobacco and all this other stuff. In the biblical one, <clears throat> there was a lot of building, building stuff. This person could have been a builder could have helped to create something. They're also part of secret society with this biblical one. Some kind of secret society here. I mean, of course, Jesus and all that, they're tied into the brotherhood. If it resonates with you, you would know. Nine of wands. Someone here is a little bit more not open. They're guarded. Could be because of past relationships being fuckery. person experienced a lot of heartbreak in this lifetime a lot of disappointment a lot of heartbreak ten of wands a heavy burden but doesn't it look like this you see the similarity in the shape and the way it looks that's uncanny that's fucking ridiculous you can't make that up <sighs> page of swords could be a younger air sign it's also spying keeping keeping watch watching from a distance feels like the ancestors are watching. They could be keeping an eye on you. You're probably the chosen one. If you've awakened in this lifetime, it's because you're meant to. The Ten of Swords, this is endings. See, I told you, somebody here went through a lot of fuckery. A lot of shit they've been through. This Ten of Swords tells us that something ended here, right? But that only means there's going to be now new beginnings. Page of Swords here is, is learning something. Someone here could be learning a new hobby. They could be in school. Death. See, I told you, something's ending for something new to begin. That's death. That's rebirth. It's also a transformation, heavy transformation energy. The Five of Swords. Self-sabotage. The self-sabotage here can come from I don't want to say refusal of transformation, but being stubborn about a transformation. Page of Wands, that's a younger fire sign, the devil, Capricorn. And then the Nine of Swords, fears, anxiety, worry. The devil is, you know, restrictions too. This could be obsession as well. I mean, you could be, th this could be where in the past you've gotten really fixated on certain things. It's like the soul's searching for the spouse. 
And so if, if you've met someone and thought, oh my God, it's supposed to be them. You know, they promised me sun, moon, and stars. We're supposed to be together. You would take it really hard because the soul is literally searching for its other half. Like I mean, we're whole by ourselves. We know that, but you know, it's a term. The other half, right? My, the, my, my life partner, my soulmate, my twin flame, whatever the fuck you resonate with. It's searching for its partner. There could have been a sense of a series of false starts with people thinking that it was them, but it's not. Because it doesn't come in until you're ready. We know that already, right? But it's what it is. Like for you guys, if you if you haven't met this person yet, and you probably haven't if you're watching this video, um, it's not till you're it's not till you're ready. Be assertive. There's some kind of big change here that's necessary, but it's something that comes from within. Because you can see that there's that light coming from within. Change from within. Understanding that when the soul is ready, its mate will come. Many people hate that, you know. See, look, romance on the bottom of the deck. See that? These two people come together when it's time. Ask your angels. I told you it felt like they were watching. The ascended masters, your ancestors, the angels, they're watching. Ready to assist. Peaceful resolution. Again, see the light coming from within. So whatever this thing is that you feel is looming over you, whether it's financial, whether it's something with your own romance or something, there's this, this thing feels like it gets cleared out. There's a lot of clearing happening right now with a lot of people. And this clearing, see, look, judgment. This it literally says transformation. It says rebirth and transformation. So heavy transformation. But it feels like there may have been a little bit of, um, you were this other person, right? kicking and screaming not being as open to it false starts of awakening the dolphins it's happiness it's 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 friendship you know it's fun it's humor effective communication you and this person is going to have really easy flow <clears throat> they'll be like a best friend but they will be a high vibration they will not be a low vibrational because i think you've met people that were oh my god but i met someone just like that but it was like low vibe and toxic it's not them See the islands far apart, standoffish and lonely. Some of you feel really lonely. But this is your time period now to go through your transformation, to go through your metamorphosis, right? It also shows that these two people are not together. The fox. See, that's that fuckery from earlier. Meeting people that only were selfish as fuck, right? They were deceitful, they lied, or they weren't honest, right? They were just in it for themselves. They were narcissistic, egotistical, whatever the fuck it was. I'm telling you, it's, that's not your counterpart. And then the anchor, steady, solid, secure. <clears throat> Many of you find that to be one of the most important things in your relationship is finding a partner that makes you feel super fucking secure, solid. I mean, who, who don't want that? <clears throat> when we don't feel solid and secure, our anxiety goes through the roof. And Virgo, you're one of the top two signs, you and Libra, to have major anxiety. Stepping stones, process of arrival, baby steps. It says to keep going. Little by little, just keep going. It may feel like you're not making progress, right? But I'm telling you, you are. It's tremendous. And see the swans. See what happens when you go and you do your shit? The swans come. The soulmate. The one. Twin flame. But it doesn't come until you set forth on your journey and you start your path of healing. Just the way it works. You know, it's one of those things where we know that, right? It's not about the other person. It's always been about us. In your extended, I'm going to use the erotic tarot deck as well. So it's going to be located in the Zodiac Intimate section. Click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page. And there will be a link right there. The very first one will take you to rent this extended. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you can go straight to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And also that link below is for my Patreon. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there as well as some bonus ones. So you have family room and main mail, allowing someone in, trusting someone enough to allow them into your private space. And it's, I'm, it's, it has to be a person where you feel is like a best friend because anything less than that's not going to cut it. You can tell this is what this is. These two people have been through thick and thin. They're thick as thieves, two peas in a pod. They've been through some shit in their, in their past lives. Concern. It doesn't feel romantic. There could be an older gentleman here that's worried about you. 
It could be a father, it could be a grandfather, it could be an uncle. It also could be someone who's already passed. So you have a masculine energy here that's just watching. They're worried. They want to make sure you're okay. They're saying, hey, are you all right? If, remember when it said, ask your angels and whatever? It's like, they want to help. But you got to let them, you know, you got to, you got to ask for help. You can't just be like, no one's helping me. Like you have to ask your guides, ask your angels. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. See, that's the shit that happens when we are in a low vibe relationship, right? And that's what I'm talking about. When you don't feel safe and secure, the anxiety kicks up and it causes people to be codependent because the person you're with doesn't make you feel secure. They make you feel like you have to worry. They make you feel like they're gonna cheat. They make you feel like something's wrong with you and, and then you start to feel all uneasy. That's exactly what the fuck we're talking about. That's the old ones, that's not the one. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. That's what you're working on currently. You are choosing you, right? This is also being healthy body, mind, and soul. This is saying to yourself, I choose me. I may love this person, but I love me more. And I'm not going to be in a situation or a connection with someone who's going to treat me like shit or give me crumbs. But they're just preparing you. The real thing, that's not it. What you've experienced in the past with all this fuckery and these karmic people, that's not it. It's like practice runs. The rider. The arrival. And it's movement as well. If you felt stuck, there's movement coming in the second half of of the year you also have the fox again deceit deception treachery manipulation right that's all the shit from the past you have the whipsy toxic over and over and over and over again repeat pattern repeat cycle and that's what you're doing you're breaking the cycle of the soul wants the one, the real one, right? The spouse, the one that it's always been with, right? And then so it sort of goes, we, we come here and we, we, we're, we, we have no recollection. We have no memory. We have amnesia. So we don't really know. If you're not far along on your spiritual journey, then you're just like, what the fuck? Right? You don't know much. We start to crack open and awaken. And during this journey, you start that process of the healing and, and the inner child healing or past life or whatever this is. Um, the, clearly there is this thing where in the past you were this other person, maybe both of you have both had shit happen that broke your fucking heart, right? Made you think the people you were with was the one. And that can be super discouraging, right? When you are so set, like I know it's them and it's not. But what it's doing is it's getting you ready. It's getting you ready on this journey of self-love, right? Choosing you. Getting you to the right vibration for the one. Is what it is. It really is that. Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Have faith, love is coming. You hear that? But we don't search for love. We, we better ourselves. We put all of our time and energy into ourselves, loving ourselves. And then when the time is right, and it's always about divine timing, we meet the one that makes our heart and soul sing. The one that's the complement to us. It's our yin to our yang. Two peas in a fucking pod, right? The building thing feels important because it also feels like building a firm foundation in your own life. There could be something with them with that as well. Maybe they build stuff. Maybe that's like a hobby they have. They literally build stuff. They make stuff. They or it could be carpenter. They could be a developer. You know, they build stuff. But it could just be nothing to do with that in this life. But, you know, it's from the past life thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into your extended. Again, if you want to rent it, click that upside down triangle below. Um, you want to follow me on Patreon, then that link is also below. I am accepting reading requests. But please beware, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, I do not reach out to you, solicit you, or message asking if you want a reading. Those are scammers, okay? Do not add them. Do not engage. Yes, I am accepting reading requests again and also Reiki healing sessions. But the only way to do it is, through, is to email me, saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com, and I will invoice you via PayPal. Everything else is fraud, okay? All right, guys, I will see you in your extended. Love you guys. Bye.